In this tutorial, we will be creating 2D floor plan. So, we will be creating this floor plan. So, the length, overall length is here 11. Point. So, we will be creating it in meter. So, our unit is if we check the unit, for checking the unit, give un command, enter. So, our unit is decimal and precision level is. 4 decimals up to 4 decimals so we will be creating in meter so our one unit will be 1 meter so at first we will create this line so internal width is 4.5 meter and above is 0.3 is the wall thickness is the 0.3 so total length of this line will be 4.5 plus 0.3 plus 0.3 that means around 5.1 so at first we will create this line of 5.1 length so before that we will actually set the limits to suppose 15 15 meter so for that we will give limits command just type limits enter then lower left corner will be 0 comma 0 enter upper right corner will be 15 comma 15 enter then give z enter a enter zoom all to apply the limits then we have to create this line of 5.1 meter so take the line command give the start point click start point suppose here now i want a straight line so i will make the ortho mode on click on that or you can also press the f8 button Give the direction and give the length of 5.1. Press enter. Again press enter to come out. So this line is created. If you don't want this in between. So for that you give UCS icon command. Enter and choose the no region option. After that we have to create a wall of 0.3 thickness. Then a room of 6 meter length again wall again room of 4.2 meter length and an again wall so for this we will use the offset command so take offset and give the offset distance of 0.3 then press enter select object give the direction and click again from here we want to create a room of 6 meters so again select this line give the direction on the right side and key in the 6 distance Again select object, give the direction, click. Again select object, give the direction, room size is 4.2. Enter. Again next wall, select object, give direction and click. So in this way, these 2, 6 and 4.2 width lines are created. Then connect the bottom line and again give a thickness of Point 0.3 so choose line then click on the end point of this line to the end point of this line then press enter to come out then offset this again offset distance will be point 0.3 enter select object give the side and click and press enter so next will be to cover this again we will Choose a line command, endpoint, enter, again offset, distance point 0.3 is already there, so we'll just press enter, select the object, give the internal direction and click, and press enter to come out. So in this way, these two boxes are ready. After that, we will create, suppose this line from this point up to here, so this length will be, this is 4 and 0.3 that means 4.3 so we'll create one line of 4.3 then again thickness of wall thickness then width is 3 kitchen width is 3 so we will zoom minus pan it we will create a line select a line give the end point give the direction upward direction and key in 4.3 enter enter to come out and zoom it and then again use offset 
distance is already there just press enter select object give the direction on the left side and click I again select this object give the direction on the left side and the distance is 3 so again we will give the distance of 3 meter enter again select object so again wall will be there of 0.3 give the direction on left side and click after that the distance is 1.1 now here wall thickness is half so we will take it 0.15 meter so 1.1, 0.15 again 1.2 and 0.3 so we will start with 1.1 select object give the direction 1.1 enter again select object give direction distance will be 1.0.15 enter again select the object give the direction again 1.2 is the distance and here wall is 0.3 again so select give the direction and click so in this way these vertical objects are created up to this line after that bedroom is of again 3 meter width then again wall is there and veranda is of 2.3 so again we will offset by 3 meter so offset is still running so just click give the direction distance of 3 enter select object give direction click again select object give 2.3 enter and again select object give the direction enter so in this way all these vertical walls has been created then connect the upper side choose line endpoint to endpoint just click there enter and again offset by 0.3 enter select the line and click on the down downward side enter to come out so this overall layout is ready then next will be we, we want to create the clear the corners so for that you give the trim command and just press enter to select all entities at cutting edges and then remove the unwanted objects just click on that and those will be removed again here or you can directly use the crossing window so in this way then here at the corner here they want like this so we will trim it and here also on the corner we will trim this then enter to come out then next will be to make the door openings so first door open door will be here so this is a D door width is 1 meter so at first we will check what is the length here using the measure distance then just track this point don't click only track the point to measure the distance click and measure it is 1.15 so it is more by 0.15 that means 0 0.75 that means we have to keep the half of the then click exit half of the 0.15 here and half of the 0.15 here that means that will be 0, 0 0.075 so we will just crea create one line here just track this point don't click just hold uh, your cursor for some time and just drag the mouse on the left side so for this to be uh, if you for this to be working properly your this object snap tracking should be on for that then only it will work properly if it is not on make it on then track and now we want a distance of 0 0.075 put that distance and enter so that your line will start from that point automatically then we want 
the line to be perpendicular to this so we will just track this endpoint and come back on the our place and click then press enter so from here the width is 1 meter so we will just again offset give the distance of 1 enter click on the line and click on the side you want the offset press enter to come out then trim enter and click on the unwanted object enter to come out so this door opening is created then next is suppose this door opening so they have not given this distance how much should be kept here so we will assume it as a hundred so again we will create one line there so zoom it again line again take the line command then again track the point don't click just hold for some time and come down and give distance of 0 0.1 100 mm that is 0 0.1 meter then again track the end point and come down and click enter the size of the door here is d1 d1 is 0 0.9 meter width so again we will offset by 0 0.9 enter click on the downside enter again trim it trim enter remove this so this has been also created then next will be this opening again here they have not given any distance so we will take it 1 meter so we will again offset it suppose by 1 offset by 1 meter enter select the line give the side and click and enter then again trim enter and remove the unwanted objects here also you don't want this enter so in this way three openings has been created then next is this d1 so d1 is again 0 0.9 this boot d1s are 0 0.9 so we will just offset this line by 0 0.9 offset 0 0.9 this line on the upper side and this line on the upper side enter then we will again trim so you want to trim complete line after this we will suppose we will use this 3 as a cutting edge we will use crossing window and here also this 3 as cutting edge then press enter and then click on the unwanted object or you can also use crossing window enter so these two door openings are created then next will be here d2 so again here we will offset by 1.1 so again we will offset it offset by 1.1 enter this line on downside click there enter I can offset by 0.15 enter select this line go down click enter now here the door size is 0.8 so again we will offset it by 0 0.8 0 0.8 enter this line on this side enter then we want to extend this line up to this line so we will use the extend command extend press enter and click on this line so it will be extended press enter to come out now trim the again unwanted object trim enter remove these objects then press enter to come out again we will not be needing this line so we will erase it so that you can give e enter and select and enter so this toilet is ready then bath for bath again here the length required is actually 2.1 so we will be offsetting it by 2.1 so offset by 2.1 enter select object give the site click again offset this line by 0.15 enter then enter 
after that actually this wall is somewhat ahead so we will just trace uh, stretch it so at first we will trim it actually trim enter then enter to come out and we will stretch give the crossing window click on the right side the window should be green one so you have to click from right to left and this line should be moved and these two lines should be stretched so you have to create a half window don't cover all the object just cover the half object enter give the base point give the direction and give the distance suppose we want to increase by 0 0.15 enter so in this way this is created again we will trim it trim enter remove so this portion is also created then next will be all these doors opening has been created so next is this door so again this is door of 1 meter so we will just check the distance measure distance here distance is less so it is 0.85 so it should be increased by 0.15 so again we will use the stretch command so again stretch click outside create a crossing window click we are taking complete line because we want to move it and these lines we are taking half or less than half click enter give the base point give the direction we want to go on the left side by 1.15 enter again this line should be in the line of this line so again we will stretch it stretch crossing window enter give the end point then track this point we want it in this line don't click now click here then connect these two lines take the line command end point to end point enter so here again door opening is created here also then we don't want this line we will trim it trim press enter click enter so in this way door openings are created then next will be suppose we want to create windows here so we want to create this window suppose so this window size is 2 meter so we want to create this window at the center so before that actually we will so all walls are created so we will create one layer click on this layer properties then click on this new layer and create a layer called wall give the name wall then give the color for the wall suppose I will take this ok and line type is continuous only if you want to give line weight you can give the line weight also suppose point 0.3 is the line weight then create one more for window and door also so click on new layer give the name window then give the color for window what color you want ok then line type is continuous I don't want any line line weight so I will remove the default then next we will create layer for door so click on this new layer give the name door then choose the color ok then line type is continuous and default so we will close this and we will select this complete wall layout objects then select here click here and click on wall click on wall and press escape to come out so in this way wall has been created on the wall layer so right now we, we will stop here and we will continue the door placement and window placement in the next tutorial thank you